get ready for the dictation 10 seconds 5 seconds start mr speaker sir i beg to move the cut motion standing in my name i wish to point out that there is great need to waive the sales tax on perishable articles like fruits fish etc i am not saying that the government should waive the sales tax altogether but i want that certain commodities should be exempted from sales tax in this connection i would like to say that the income from sales tax has been very good but at the same time the government do not see the hardship caused by this tax to the poor people there is almost no commodity in our country that can be sold or purchased without sales tax to that extent the government deserve congratulations but i do not know why the government should not exempt a few perishable articles from sales tax as we know a man's basic requirement is food and i am sure that if sales tax on food is waived there will not be much loss of income for the government we have no quarrel with the government if they come forward to impose a higher rate of sales tax on luxuries there are certain luxuries like motor car diamond and gold we have no objection if they are taxed heavily the rich man who comes forward to purchase a motor car can pay a little more if it makes up the loss sustained by the government by exempting the articles that we have asked for from sales tax so the policy of the government must be to tax the rich more and to tax the poor less then i would like to touch upon the hardship caused to the merchants by the imposition of multi point sales tax the government have not accepted our suggestion that there should be no multi point sales tax and they have failed to rectify the mistakes that are pointed out by us the whole process of taxation goes on from the wholesaler to the retailer and from the retailer to the consumer if this is the state of affairs the government can easily imagine the amount of hardship caused to the people the government may come to the conclusion that at every stage of these transactions they get some income so far as the finances of the government are concerned it may be a sound principle but the government must also consider how much the people are affected sound canons of public finance lay down that any tax must be so collected that the people who pay the taxes do not feel any hardship i therefore feel that every commodity that is subjected to sales tax in our country should be taxed at only one point the finance minister was pleading yesterday that if the officials were not vigilant enough to see that the commodity was taxed at the first point it was likely to be brought to the consumer without being taxed but the government need not think that their officials will be so careless the finance minister was good enough to mention yesterday that there were a few commodities like cotton and cigarettes which were being taxed at one stage only i would ask him whether these are the only commodities that go to make up the living of a man there are many other commodities which are necessary for the mere existence of man they must therefore be exempted from sales tax 
once again i finally plead with the government that they should consider the desirability of waiving tax at least on perishables like vegetables fish and fruits letter from ragu and company bangalore to mrs rao and company madurai dear sirs we thank you for your order number 12 dated the 3rd august for transmission bells of various sizes but we regret very much to advise you of our inability to execute the order within a fortnight as requested by you we would like to inform you that in recent months there has been a great rush of orders for our goods and in spite of our best efforts we have not been able to cope with them successfully as a matter of fact our factory is fully booked with orders already on hand and we think that it will take at least a month to clear them however we would like to point out that we are making every effort to speed up delivery of goods and in fairness to all our customers all orders are being handled in strict rotation we regret very much the inconvenience that may be caused to you by this delay and we hope and trust that it will be convenient for you to allow us this extension of time in the special circumstances that we have explained above we have great pleasure in informing you that we have already booked your order provisionally but we would be grateful if you confirm your order on the revised condition we assure you of our best attention at all times yours faithfully